It's Halloween, Oddiekins. Are you excited? You should be. You're a black cat. Well, mostly. <laughs> How about you? Are you ready for some good news? First up, a study has identified new biomarkers for multiple sclerosis that could change the way doctors diagnose the disease. The study, led by the University of Sydney's Brain and Mind Center and Royal Prince Alfred Hospital, found previously unknown biomarkers that not only distinguish people who have MS from people who don't, but also indicate which kind of MS a person has, relapsing remitting or primary progressive. The biomarkers discovered by the study are microRNA molecules, short strings of non-coding RNA that play important roles in various cellular functions. The new MS biomarkers are found in exosomes, tiny membrane envelopes released by cells. Patients with MS and other inflammatory diseases tend to have much higher concentrations of exosomes in their blood. There is no single definitive test for diagnosing MS at this point. After diagnosis, monitoring the progress of the disease can also be tricky. A set of biomarkers capable of informing doctors not only of the presence of MS, but the type would be very, very good news. This study is published in Scientific Reports. What'd you think of that one? Not impressed? I thought it was pretty good. Well, how about this next one then? Next up, researchers have found a protein that can be made to conduct electricity like a metal. A team led by Stuart Lindsay, a biophysicist at Arizona State University, made the discovery while pursuing Lindsay's work with recognition tunneling, a process that enables scientists to identify molecules by measuring their electrical properties. An integrin protein, which occurs in the body as an adhesive agent in multicellular structures, was subjected to the recognition tunneling process, and to the surprise of Lindsay and his graduate students, it showed itself to be a great conductor of electricity. Proteins like this are usually thought of as insulators, but Lindsay and his team discovered that an electrical charge of high enough voltage changes this protein from an insulator to a conductor, like flipping a switch to go from one state to another. Lindsay and his team are currently searching for other proteins that can be switched from insulators to conductors, and working to understand the implications of this discovery for Lindsay's work, and more broadly, for the fields of medicine and nanotechnology. This research is published in the journal Nano Futures. And finally, astronomers have determined that a recently discovered asteroid comes from outside our solar system. The object, designated A2017U1, is tiny, less than a quarter mile in diameter, and fast, traveling at around 27 miles per second. It was discovered earlier this month by astronomers at the University of Hawaii. Based on its trajectory, scientists at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory estimate that the object originated far outside our solar system, is coming from the direction of the constellation Lyra, and is currently heading out of our solar system in the direction of the constellation Pegasus, on a path that will most likely never bring it our way again. It's long been theorized that interstellar objects like this exist, most likely ejected from their home star systems during the planetary formation process. But A2017U1 is the first such object ever identified passing through our solar system. Astronomers around the world are studying this object while they can, hoping to learn as much as possible about the first interstellar object they've ever been able to examine up close, relatively speaking. And even that last one just means nothing to you. You're not moved by that at all. An interstellar invader coming into our solar system on Halloween. You know, I just, I, sometimes I don't understand you. I don't understand you, Adi. Anyway, what have we learned this week? Well, a new set of biomarkers could enable better diagnosis of multiple sclerosis. Scientists discover a protein that can be switched from an insulator to a conductor. And for the first time, astronomers observe an interstellar object passing through our solar system. That's the good news. Happy Halloween. 
So what are you dressing up as for Halloween? A cat that doesn't give a shit? Is that, do you have your costume on now? Because it's utterly convincing. Hey folks, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And also please consider helping us to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash Steve Shives to become a patron of this channel. Thanks for watching.